Hello guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly. And today in this video, I'm gonna show how to enable screen sharing on a Mac and share your display with another Mac. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now, let's begin. The screen sharing app is a built-in feature that allows users on other computers in your network to remotely connect to your Mac to view and control your desktop. With the powerful capabilities of the screen sharing app, there's no need for additional remote applications like TeamViewer or AnyDesk. Additionally, it's completely free and comes pre-installed on your Mac. When screen sharing is enabled, your Mac desktop can be viewed from another computer on your network. While your screen is being shared, the user on the other computer connected to your Mac can see what's on your screen and can control your Mac as desired. One can open and quit apps, move files, close windows, and can even perform administrative tasks like updating or restarting your Mac. For this guide, I'm using two different Mac Mini computers, a Mac Mini with Apple M2 and M1 chip. Mac Mini with Apple M1 chip will be the remote computer. Now, to turn on screen sharing on your Mac, open System Settings, click on General tab in the sidebar, then click Sharing. You may need to scroll down. Now, toggle Screen Sharing to turn Mac screen sharing on. Now, if remote management is turned on, turn it off. You can't enable both screen sharing and remote management at the same time. After toggling on the screen sharing, your computer can now be accessed from any other device on the same network. You can remote logging using the screen sharing app or via any VNC viewer app. Click the info button next to screen sharing. If you want to configure screen sharing a bit more, here you can adjust the options accordingly. You can also grant access to the users you want. You can add users to the list or remove them as needed. After configuring, on your other Mac, open Screen Sharing app. Click the launchpad icon in the dock or type Screen Sharing in the search field. The Screen Sharing app is located in the Applications Utilities folder. On the Screen Sharing app on your Mac, click Network in the sidebar, move the pointer over the computer you want to access, then click Connect. You can also click the New Connection button in the toolbar, enter a host name or Apple account or a local IP address, then click Connect. If asked, enter a username and password, then click Sign In. If the Select Screen Sharing Type window is displayed, you can continue with either of the options. Select Standard or High Performance. Standard works with most of the network conditions. And High Performance works only with the high-speed networks. High performance option is only available on Mac computers with Apple Silicon and Mac OS Sonoma 14 or later. If you selected high performance, click the display type pop-up menu, choose one or two virtual displays, then click continue. If you're connected to the standard screen sharing type, your remote computer may feel a bit laggy or may have a distorted screen appearance or artifacts while using. However, it's random. With the standard connection, you can't adjust virtual display settings. Now, let me just quickly connect to the high performance type. Except for the display quality, settings, and features, both the standard and the high performance type connection are the same in every aspect. With the high performance connection, you can turn on dynamic resolution or select a display resolution. Dynamic resolution automatically matches to the size of your screen sharing window. You can also choose a different color profile. Moreover, you can also adjust the display to show HDR content. For that, turn on high dynamic range. With two virtual displays on the high performance connection, you can choose how you want to view the virtual display. Here you can see two virtual displays are available. You can choose any of the display as main display, extended display, or mirror. Moreover, you can also arrange the virtual displays into the desired positions. With the screen sharing app, you can also change screen sharing settings. Click on screen sharing in the menu bar, then settings. Here you can adjust your viewing options under the display tab. Below the quality tab, you can choose between the options faster or more detailed to have different previews when displaying a remote screen with a standard connection. Below the blocked users tab, you can choose who can request screen sharing. You can also block specific Apple accounts and contacts from sending requests to share your screen or view their screen by adding the account or contacts to the block list. 
You can also share the contents of the clipboard with another Mac. When you're sharing one computer's screen with another computer, you can transfer information between the clipboards of the two computers. Copy text and images from documents on one Mac and paste them into documents on the other. Select and drag text and images from one Mac to the other. Copy a link from your web browser and paste it into a web browser on the other Mac. Copy text from a document on one Mac and drop it on the desktop of the other Mac to create a clipping. You can copy an item to the other Mac or copy an item to your Mac. So this was all about the screen sharing app. So that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.